Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Um, I think we're all aware that the world is in a tremendous upset. I wish I could do anything to help. The best thing I can do is say, oh, let's have some fun. Can't hurt. We're home anyway. So anyway, thank you for looking at this video. If you're enjoying our videos, please subscribe. And when you do, be sure and tap on the little notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we have, we put up another video on our YouTube channel. I think that's about all I needed to say other than please do that. I notice a lot of people are watching. We all have time to kill. I mean, it's just really a strange time. But I've gotten a lot of requests on the channel. A lot of people have, have written in their comments and I read and try to answer every one of them. That's a, a <laughs> <laughs> it's a full morning sometimes. But anyway, some of the things have been concerning this motorcycle. Um, I understand it. I've been in love with it for a long time. Um, it's my knucklehead. Uh, it's 1947. And I'm going to talk about it just for a minute to answer some of the questions. And we're going to start it up and let it run. Because that's what I'm getting requested to do more than anything. I also want to mention at the end of this video, we will show more parts that have come in for the project. So let me get started. Nobody wants to hear me talk that bad. They really want to hear this thing. Anyway, this is a knucklehead. It's been sitting in the garage for the last two weeks because I was riding the panhead. The knucklehead's been sitting and it's been raining like crazy. In other words, I'm making excuses. When I go to start it up, it is stone cold. These carburetors do not have accelerator pumps. They're dry inside. The only thing that takes fuel into the motor is the vacuum made by the pistons going down and going and that sucks the fuel right into the carburetor to start it. The next thing I want to say is people have actually, some people love the color, some people hate it. Thank you people who love it. I'm not listening to you people who hate it. I mean, really. Okay, also these saddlebags that look like they're hanging onto the exhaust pipe certainly are not. Uh, there are heat shields on the pipes that set the bags away from the pipe so that the bags never get hot. They're also tied down so they won't fly up when you're going excessive speeds and hit me in the back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start it. Again, it's cold. We're going to turn on the fuel, my little handy dandy pep cock here that I'm real in love with. Now once this thing starts, I'm not going to be talking because you certainly won't be able to hear me. So I turned on the fuel, giving the carburetor a full choke. Being a chopper, it doesn't have its lever on the other side like it came with. That got thrown away when everything else was thrown away. And you got your little lever right here to give it a full choke. Okay, we're going to retard the timing. And now we're going to give it a couple of prime kicks. Open the throttle wide open. Kick it through once. Twice. She's been sitting a while. We might just go three kicks. Three. Now we're going to open the choke, turn on the ignition, give her just a little bit of throttle, remembering the timing is already retarded, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I knew there wasn't much gas in there.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> Turn around here, fight with my microphone cord. I promise we'll get a Bluetooth mic someday soon. All right, that's what she sounds like. And the next thing is, what do we have here for the project bike? I went and rummaged around in the parts room again. I found a brand new cross shaft. It's an aftermarket piece. This is a cross shaft, it goes through this uh, tube in the frame. So you got a brake pedal on this side and it operates a mechanical brake on the other side. So little by little we get the brake system all built. Uh, what else did I find? I went and found, let's see, can we go to the other side of the bike for a second? I found a couple of these. And what these are, this is the bracket that mounts the oil tank and battery plate. So that when it mounts right here in the frame, bolts right there to the fender. Okay, here's the cool thing I found in the, in the parts room. Well, I don't care if anyone thinks this is cool or not, I love it. It took everything I could scrounge together at the swap meet to pick this up years ago. Somebody, I don't know who, I don't know if it was a company, I don't know if it was some hoodlum in his backyard, but somebody cast the top tree top fork tree, and risers in solid bronze. And I'm going to put them on a motorcycle, finally. So here it is, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, I think that's it for now. I showed more stuff on the project. We fired up the knuckle. We had fun. Thank you for stopping by. Everybody, please stay safe. Be careful. Hold your loved ones close. Thank you, and it won't be long. I'll see you out on the road.